So we're going to try something new. I'm not going to wear the headphones this time. I'm going to try to use the audio like from just my laptop and putting the, the video on the screen because I'm wondering if maybe um, the actual audio from the show, from the actual clip is getting, is what's cause, calling attention to the algorithm or something. I don't know how this works on YouTube. So I'm hoping this will prevent it from being blocked or maybe it'll take longer. <laughs> I'm trying to... Here's the thing, the only other option I have is to either A, put up the entire full length episode with no picture of the show down here. You would just have to watch the show along with me or to get a Patreon and put it on there. And I'm trying to avoid that because I'm not very consistent. <laughs> um, I mean, that might force me to be more consistent, but I'm trying to avoid that. I don't want to have to go that avenue. So I'm going to see what happens with using the audio from my laptop. We'll see. Alright, so in the last episode, Claire managed to get the deal she needed to um, make Russia of, like join the forces with everyone else. Uh, Frank has the author guy going to write a book for him. That's not going to go the way he wants it to. And I really hope this guy like digs and digs and digs and digs and like becomes an investigative writer and... Uh, you know, finds everything. That would be so great. It'd be bad for Frank, but I, I just want to see it happen. Some other stuff happened. Oh yeah, Jackie got engaged. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Tell me about the set. What was your first job? Book's not about me. <laughs> well, the only reason that Petrov is considering this is because we have leverage in the UN. You're both confident that this is rock solid if petrov doesn't cooperate the secretary general will call an emergency session the moment we land in the states let's hope we don't have to play that card just don't give too much away oh listen he's been marginalized in the security council he's detaining an american citizen he wants to wash his hands up i think we'll find that we're dealing with a much more reasonable man than the one that visited washington I like that they still do things together. Earth to Max. Well, then you need to be tested. I mm. know, but it scares the shit out of me. Oh, sure. Do you want me to go with you? No, I don't. Look, there's a free clinic in Towson. Plenty of my friends go there. You just walk. I get it. I get it. I could go with you tomorrow if you want me to. I don't need a mother. Hey, I'm not trying to mother you. I just, I care about you, and I want you to be safe. Just. Max. He's Max. good. Max. So, we start over. As though we meet for the first time. Hmm? Please. You're gonna... Uh, you, so you're not gonna be a dick? Like, you're not on vacation this time, sir? <laughs> We're here to work on your body, not work on your work. The boss calls. Well, while you're on my turf, I'm the boss. Let's get in there and lie down on the mat. Thanks, ma'am. He's starting to like her. I, Michael Corrigan, apologize to the citizens of the Russian Federation for breaking your laws. I regret my part in exposing minors to non-traditional sexual attitudes. I am grateful to President Petrov for the clemency no. my release demonstrates. I'm good. And for a lot, it's the result of extended negotiations between representatives of the State Department and the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Yeah, no. If Mr. Corrigan and I are to speak privately. I would like to be assured that it is truly private. Show me where the bug is. <laughs> Your wife values privacy. Excuse me. We were talking missile defense. Why did you bring up Claire? She's talking privacy to Corrigan. It's no matter. Is there something wrong? I hope not. The millions of people out there who are told the way they are born is wrong. But back home, you can share Sergei's story. It doesn't do anything for him or the others. Will they see, even see that there? What if I can get them to change the line about non-traditional sexual attitudes? That's what bothers you most. You can't, you can't parse this. It's all or nothing. That's not how politics works. But it's how revolution works. <sighs> this is not going to be good. Because if he's dragged 
out of there. The second he gets home, he's going to tell them what happened about us negotiating with Russia. It's just going to be bad. A lot of things. I struck killer. That's who he is. Okay, Dexter. Sorry. More than two. Proving something to yourself. And a man back home is hurting because of it. John is weak. He'd say the statement in a heartbeat if he spent more than a few days in here, which is why I'm here and he's not. If he thinks I'm being selfish, so what? Either he accepts it or he doesn't. Isn't that what marriage is about? Accepting your partner's selfishness? You of all people should understand. You know nothing about marriage. You think it's about sacrifice? Please inform the president I won't be leaving until Mr. Corrigan comes with me. You can't stay here, Mrs. Anderson. Pass along the message, would you? We can't have the first lady stay here. You're not going to forcibly remove me. So please do as I ask. <laughs> he turned her around all puppy and mad. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, actually, I will take those. Is he going to pretend it was positive? He's not going to pretend it was positive. New crush. Where's Rachel? Where is Rachel? I don't believe in it. Two of my cabinet ministers are gay. My ex-wife's nephew is gay. The one who is basically like a son to me. Personally, I don't care. There won't be a revolution because you freed one man. Revolution sneaks up on you one small step at a time. I don't take chances, even with the smallest of steps. <sighs> but I noticed he had this habit of uh, tilting his head when he was making an important point. It was, <sighs> it was so daring. It was like this. It was like <laughs> I couldn't help it. I fell in love with him right then and there. This was John. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I don't think you do either, even though you fight for it. And I don't believe you love your husband more than ever. And how could you possibly know? It takes one to know one. John and I haven't okay. slept with each other. And you should eat. Send the snake to Eve. <laughs> eat your apple. You should go back. I need time to think alone. Clear my head. I'm not leaving here without you. I need time! Just lie down for a little bit. Just get some rest. Oh, she's gonna go sleep for like five hours. <laughs> New Mexico. Cuts across the whole state. Hot springs and waterfalls. I used to say we'd go there, hike it, find a good spot, build a cabin. Well, that's where she is. Господи! Fuck. And then a few words about the Jordan Valley, or if you'd prefer to announce our agreement. No, no, it's fine if you do. Would you mind if your people showed me a Oh, Claire's gonna say something she's not supposed to. 
She's pissed. And you too. Mrs. Underwood would like to start by saying a few words. I'm scared. <laughs> As you all know, Michael Corrigan was found dead in his cell this morning. Don't do it, Claire. Claire, don't do it. Claire, don't do it. Walk away, Claire. I didn't just speak to him yesterday. I was there when it happened, uh, asleep. He hung himself with my scarf. Michael was willing to die for what he believed in. Thank you, Mrs. He was brave. And his voice deserves to be heard. If it weren't for this unjust law and ignorance and intolerance of your government, Michael would still be with us. Shame on you, Mr. President. has been under a great amount of stress these past <laughs> Awkward. She's clearly in shock. Because I want you to know why. I don't care why. I don't care what your reasons are. There is no reason that can possibly convince me that you should have sabotaged a peace plan we spent months on. It was a political mistake, yes. And I can separate the big from the small. He wasn't small. He was a coward, and I'm glad he's dead. He had more courage than you'll ever have. Not. We're survivors. If we can't show some respect for one brave man and still accomplish what we set out to do, then I'm disappointed in both of us. I should have never made you ambassador. I should have never made you president. What are you looking at? <laughs> I don't know what just ha I don't know what just happened. First of all, I don't like them arguing ever. I can understand Frank being upset because she did fuck up the whole deal. They had just come to a conclusion, everything was fine. Not to mention he's trying to prove that he can get stuff done before it's time for him to start running again for re-election, you know? This is not a time for fuck ups like this. But of course, we understand where Claire's coming from because we were in that room with her and we see what she was dealing with in that guy's mind frame. Because it wasn't like he was just like suicidal, having you know mental health issues or something. He did it to make a point. Don't ever do that. But oh, I don't like... I'm glad she sent the book guy away. He didn't hear them yell. A scene with them sitting there having dinner and him saying, you know, that she's basically back in the corner. She can't do what she wants to wants to either. That was a good scene. I like the scene with them sitting there eating together. Either she slept really hard or he was really quiet. I don't like her fucking up like this. Claire doesn't mess up like this. Like, they are, they don't mess up like this. And the whole time they were talking to each other on the phone, like, keeping track of each other. And, you know, Frank came up with another plan. I have no idea what's going to happen next. So Billy is going to find Rachel in New Mexico. And now that Doug is running What's Her Face's campaign, oh, Frank's going to have a hard time. Frank is having a hard, hard time. That's it. Have a good day. Bye.